Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain the concept of K-way merge that is used in external sorting. This K-way merging is also called as multi-way merging. The input for this algorithm is K sorted arrays. Each array is having n number of elements. In some cases, the n value may be same or different. The output for this algorithm is you have to merge all the sorted arrays and print the sorted output. So in this video, I am taking the k value 2 and 3. So I will explain this k way merge algorithm by taking k value 2 and 3. Let's consider two way merge. In this k value is 2. The input for this two way merge is we have to give two input arrays named array 1 and array 2. The array 1 contains four number of elements. Array 2 contains four number of elements. This array 1 is already in sorted order and array 2 is also in sorted order. You have to combine or merge these two arrays into another array so that the resultant array also in sorted form. If you combine these two arrays, the resultant array is array 3 here. This is also in sorted form. This is the problem statement. Consider the input arrays. Two sorted arrays I am taking here. Array 1 contains 10, 20, 30 and 40. Array 2 contains 5, 15, 25 and 35. You can observe this. Array 1 size is 4. Array 2 size is 4. If we combine these two, the resultant array contains totally 8 number of elements. To store these 8 number of elements, we need another array that we can call it as array 3. In addition to this, array 1 is indexed from 0 to n minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Array 2 is also indexed from 0, 1, 2, and 3. So now, as I already told you, to store the result, we need an array with 8 number of elements. So for this, I am taking another array, array 3 here, indexed from 0 to 7. So now let's start the procedure. How can we merge array 1 and array 2 and the result is array 3 here, which contains the elements in sorted order. To perform this, I need three pointers named here P1 pointing to the first array, P2 pointing to the second array, P3 pointing to the third array. Now let's start the procedure. The step one in this is consider the first element in the first array 10 and first element in the second array 5. Compare these two elements 10 and 5. Which element is minimum 5? So we have to store 5 in the resultant array. Store 5 or copy 5 into the array 3. First copy it. Then from which array I have copied from array 2. So we have to increment the pointer P2 by one position. And I want to store another element in the next position in array 3. So I have to move P3 by one position. So in this process I have to move P2 by 1 position and P3 by 1 position. So next step is increment the pointer of array 2 and array 3. This is the second step. These two steps are repeated till all the elements are completed in the array 1 and array 2. So now array 1 is pointing to the 10 and array 2 pointing to 15. Which element is minimum here? 10. So you have to copy 10 from array 1 to array 3. First copy the element 10. The next step is I have copied the element from array 1. So you have to increment the pointer P1 by one position and P3 by one position. Increment the pointers. Now compare 20 and 15. Among these two elements, 15 is minimum. So copy 15 to array 3. 
from which array I have copied array 2. So increment the P2 pointer by one position and P3 pointer by one position. Increment the pointer here. Now again compare 20 and 25. Which element is minimum? 20. Copy 22 array 3. Then from which array I have copied array 1. Increment the P1 pointer by 1 position and P3 pointer by 1 position. Now again compare 30 and 25. Which is minimum? 25 is minimum. So copy 25 to array 3. From which array I have copied array 2 here again. Increment the array 2 pointer by 1 position and array 3 pointer by 1 position. P2 and P3 got incremented by 1 position. Now again compare this 30 with 35 which is minimum 30 is minimum so copy 30 to array 3 from array 1 i have copied so p1 pointer is incremented by 1 and p3 is incremented by 1 increment the pointers now again compare 40 and 35 35 is minimum here copy 35 to array 3 then increment the pointer array 2 by 1 position array 3 by 1 position if you observe here, the pointer P2 becomes 4, that is out of bound. Again, no need to compare this. Now, what are the elements that are present in the first array or copied directly to the array 3? Copy the 40 to array 3. And then, from which array I have copied? From array 1. So, increment the pointer of P1 by 1 position and P3 by 1 position. If you observe, all the pointers are reached to out of bound so that we can stop the process and if you observe in the resultant array all the elements are in sorted order 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 this is the mechanism we are using in k way much here i have taken k value as 2 here we have taken two sorted arrays and we are merging these two sorted arrays into another array in that resultant array, we are having all the elements in the sorted order. Let's take another example, three way merge. In this, the k value I am taking three here. I am taking three arrays of each size, four. Array one is having four elements. Array two is having four elements. Array three is having four elements. If you understand two way merge, it is easy to understand three way merge. The resultant array contains 5, 10, 15, 17, 20, 25, 27, 30, 35, 37, 40 and 47. So we want to sort all the elements in these three arrays into another array in a sorted order. Let's proceed how we can do this. Consider three sorted arrays with indexes 10, 20, 30 and 40 belongs to array 1. 5, 15, 25, 35 belongs to array 2. 17, 27, 37, 41 belongs to array 3. Now, to store the result, we need a result array. Consider that array as array 4. How many number of elements present in the array 4? That is the sum of array 1 plus 2 plus 3. Totally, we have 12 locations. The resultant array contains 12 locations indexed from 0 to 11. And we need pointer for comparisons or incrementing for each array. Here we have totally 4 arrays. Take 4 pointers P1, P2, P3, P4. Now the actual procedure starts. First step is compare the first element in each array. The first element in the array 1 is 10, array 2 is 5, array 3 is 17. Among these arrays, which one is minimum? 5. So that we have to copy 5 into the resultant array. Copy it. Then from which array we have copied from array 2. Increment the P2 pointer by 1 position and increment the P4 pointer by 1 position. Increment it. The process is same as we have seen in the two way merge. But here we have 3 arrays. If we have k number of arrays, we have to check in the k sorted arrays which one is the minimum element. Copy the element into the resultant array, then increment the pointer in the corresponding array. So now we have 10, 
15 and 17 among which 10 is minimum copy 10 into the array 4 from which array we have copied from array 1 increment p1 by one position and p4 by one position increment it then 20 15 and 17 which is minimum 15 copy 15 to the resultant array then from array 2 we have copied so increment p2 by one position and p4 by one position then again compare 20 25 and 17 17 is minimum here copy it to array 4 and from which array we have copied array 3 so increment array 3 pointer by one position and p4 by one position then again compare 20 25 and 27 20 is minimum so copy 20 to array 4 and increment array 1 pointer by one position and p4 by one position the same process is repeated now compare 30 25 and 27 which is minimum 25 25 is copied to array 4 and increment the array 2 pointer that is p2 by one position and p4 by one position now again compare 30 35 and 27 27 is minimum copy 27 into the array 4 and from array 3 i have copied increment the array 3 pointer by one position and array 4 pointer by one position now again compare 30 35 and 37 among which 30 is minimum copy 32 resultant array and increment the array one pointer by one position and array four pointer by one position so again compare 40 35 and 37 35 is minimum so copy 35 into the resultant array and increment the pointer p2 by one position and p4 by one position if you observe p2 pointer is reached to out of bound so now we no need to compare with array 2 we have two arrays left here array 1 and array 3 among these two arrays 40 and 37 which is minimum 37 copy 37 to resultant array and from which array we have copied from array 3 increment p3 pointer by one position and p4 by one position now again compare 40 and 47 which one is minimum 40 so copy 40 into the resultant array and from which array i have copied from array 1 increment p1 pointer by one position and p4 pointer by one position and you can observe here now p1 reached to out of bound and now we have only one element that is left in array 3 just copy the element from array 3 to the resultant array copy 47 into the resultant array from which array we have copied from array 3 increment p3 pointer by one position and p4 pointer by one position now you can see here all the pointers p1 p2 p3 p4 are reached to the out of bound now we can stop the process so in this way we can use k number of sorted arrays for merging in this video i have explained by taking the k value is 2 and 3 here I have taken three sorted arrays and I am merging these three sorted arrays into a resultant array. And we can apply this k way merging in external sorting. If you have any queries, please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.